Hi, my name is uh, John Flynn. I'm an art teacher at Mayor High School. A bunch of different levels of art that we teach at the high school. It's 8 through 12. Uh, you have the potential to take art every year you are here in the school. It's a difficult term to have a concrete um, answer to when you're thinking about um, what is art or what it means to me. Um, it does mean a lot in terms of, in, with instruction, It's a lot of it's about working with materials and teaching technique, and then as you get to the higher levels, it's a lot about expressing ideas. What is the most unique art style you have seen your students use? Um, I've seen students, it may not be a style, but just having um, the concept. Uh, I had a student do a project where she looked at different wars and how they were impacted by the different media uh, of the time. So World War uh, I talked about the radio, World War II was about movies, uh, Vietnam War was about uh, television, and the Gulf War was about uh, the internet. So she used that and created artworks revolving around that. It was really an interesting, interesting project. What would you say is your favorite art style? That's a, that's a very difficult question to answer. My favorite art style, uh, I mean, I am attracted to um, art from the early 20th century through probably mid-20th century, uh, so that would be things that are more abstract and conceptually based. Uh, I really love uh, Alexander Calder's mobiles. That's one of my favorite things, and there's actually some in the room, hanging in the room, some student works that are like Alexander's uh, mobiles. Um, and that's certainly something that really I'm attracted to. Um, a fam world famous? I've certainly have had students sell work out of galleries. Uh, there's a there's a mural downtown. Uh, I think it's by CVS that was uh, created by a former student. He did some graffiti work on that. So I guess that would be about as close to uh, internationally famous as we get around here. For the intro class, the most popular uh, project is probably the last project we do of the year, which is uh, assemblage self-portrait. So the kids gather materials together, and they, the actual materials, so if they were interested in going to the beach, they'd have actual beach sand. If they are interested, if they like to play sports, they may have some pieces of equipment of the sports, and we, put it, we glue it on, put it together on a, on a uh, board, and that represents who they are. My favorite art museum that I visit a lot is the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. Um, it's right in Boston on the Fens. It's a, a home that was converted into a museum. It's a beautiful space. Uh, it's just fantastic. The artwork is wonderful too, but the, just the space itself is fantastic. As I mentioned at the beginning, I, we teach, uh, I teach all the levels of art uh, in, the, in the school. So you could take the 8th grade art course, which is only one quarter of a year, and then there's an intro class, a studio intro class, where we teach just methods and materials, so we're working with a bunch of different materials. And then from there, uh, you can work with ceramics, which is working with clay. There's digital photography uh, that's offered that I do not teach, but I have in the past. And there's an advanced placement class where we work with a bunch of, uh, they work with a bunch of different materials creating a portfolio. And then we have a portfolio class as well where the, where the students actually create a portfolio to, to apply to colleges. Art is a subject that incorporates creativity, skill, and imagination. Through art, you can express anything about you or something else in life. Every emotion can be shown in a work of art by either structures, colors, or patterns. Combining all these things is what the most famous art you see today.
In Mr. Flynn's classes, he tries to teach art of all styles to help get to any student.